Hey guys, Chris Meets with Icon Ecom here. Today we're going to go over a really cool feature that we have available in your dashboard called Bundles. What Bundles are is it allows you to build a product that includes multiple different print-on-demand products. So essentially a single add to cart or a single buy now on your Ecom platform is going to correlate into multiple products when it imports into your dashboard. So in our example today, we're gonna take a t-shirt and a mug, and we're gonna bundle those together into one product. So we'll show you how that process works. What you wanna do is come down over here to bundles, and then just come up here to create new bundle. And what this is going to do is give you a list of all of the products that you have created in your account. You'll notice that if you are using our My Warehouse service to fulfill and ship any other products, you can add those fulfillment products to a bundle as well. In this case, we're just going to do our mug and shirt combo. So we'll add our mug to the bundle. So that product was added to the bundle and now we're going to add a second product to this bundle. If we wanted to add additional products to this bundle so we can add multiples, you'd wanna come in here and go to add another product. And this would give us our product list again to be able to add a third product. In this case, we're just going to go with these two products. The first thing you're going to want to do is set your title here. This is going to be the name of the product when it pushes over to your e-com platform. And you can see the description went ahead and pulled in both the description for the t-shirt as well as the coffee mug. Again, this is editable. You can come in here and make changes to that before you push over to your platform as well. And then you can also upload a image of your bundle. This is the image that will show on your platform. Here I have just a simple image that I built combining the two images. You can certainly do something more uh, elaborate if you would like to. This is just the default image that will push over with the product. So we'll upload that and click on save image to save that to the bundle. And you'll notice that the two products that I have added to this both have personalization. So this bundle feature works with our live personalization preview and we'll step the customer through that entire process and we'll show that to you in a few minutes when we push this over to our Shopify store. So scrolling down, you can see uh, we have this kind of laid out uh, step one through five on what you need to do to complete the setup here. Uh, down below here, you're going to have a table of all of your different variant options. So this combined all of the variant options for your t-shirt and for your mug and gave you a unique SKU for each one. So you can see this particular SKU correlates to a black small t-shirt and a black 11 ounce mug. And here's the same product, but with the 15 ounce mug and so on and so forth for every color and every size. So now what we need to do is set up our variant dropdowns so that when we're on our uh, Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce store, wherever we're selling, we're selling this product at, uh, the, the customer sees the dropdowns that we want them to see and select uh, for their product. So we're gonna come in here and set variant names. So this is gonna be the name of each variant dropdown and is also gonna determine the number of variant dropdowns that we're gonna have. Keep in mind that there are some limitations to the number that you're allowed to have. So in Shopify, you can only have three different variant types. And in Etsy, you are only allowed two different variant types. On WooCommerce, it's a bit more wide open. You can have uh, three, four, five, uh, doesn't really matter. So uh, keep in mind if you're selling on one of these two platforms, Etsy or Shopify, that there are some limitations there. So for our demo purposes today, we'll build this just with two variant types. And the way we'll do that is we'll essentially combine our color and size for the shirt into one variant dropdown, and then our color and size for the mug into another variant dropdown. So you can see the more complicated that we get on our different variants, uh, the more complicated this gets to the end user. Uh, so in this case, I have two colors selected for the t-shirt. And I also selected two colors on my colored inside mug, just to show you guys one that's a little bit more complicated. Uh, most of the time you're gonna wanna control this as much as you can and offer a very limited number of colors so that the selection doesn't get too large for your customer. Uh, also keep in mind when you're building these that Shopify has a limitation of a total of 100 variants. So as you start adding 
uh, more colors and on multiple products, that variant list can get very large and you're only gonna be able to push the first 100 over to your Shopify store. So coming back in here to set our variant names, the first one we're gonna want is going to be, we're just gonna name this T-shirt and this is gonna include our color and our size. And then on the second one, we're just going to name this mug and you can add multiples here if you want to. Uh, again, if you're going up, say you're on Shopify and you want three drop downs, just really kind of depends on what you're selling. So we're going to hit update here and you can see now our new variant option names are just t-shirt and mug. Now we're going to come into our variant builder and what this is going to do is allow us to set up the actual variant options for each one of these two that we just created. So here's our t-shirt. We want them to be able to select color and size. So we're gonna drag both of those over there. And under our mug, we're just going to do color and size as well. And click on generate. And you can see this went ahead and filled in. These two fields here are essentially our variant dropdowns. So it went ahead and filled those in, uh, essentially just matching what we have here in this case. Uh, again, if you're doing something different, adding more products, uh, doing something simpler with, uh, you know, if, if we didn't have any color selection on our mug and didn't have any sizes, uh, we obviously wouldn't necessarily need that field. So it's really up to you on how you want to set up those variants. Now going down the list here over to step three, we have a update pricing option. So by default, we're going to pull together the retail price that you had set for your products and we're going to add those together. So you can see that we pulled in the price for our shirt and the price for our mug and put those in there. So we have a little bit of differencing in price. We have some that end in 38.35. Uh, if we want to increase, decrease to give a discount, um, that's something that you can do here as well. So we're going to come into our update pricing tool here. And what you can do here is set if you want to add or subtract price. Uh, so this is going to be based off of the price that's already in the field over here. Uh, so in this case, we want to give them a bit of a discount instead of offering the discount on an e-com platform. We're just going to build the product with the discount already built in. So we're going to subtract, we're going to say 250. Now, since we subtract 250, our prices are not going to come out even. So we're going to have an example on this one down here, 38.35, and we're going to subtract 250 from it. So it's not gonna look real pretty. So what we have down here are some rounding rules and uh, some pretty sense options that you can set up. So what we're going to do is we're gonna round our price down to the nearest whole dollar. Um, and then we're essentially gonna add 99 cents to that so that everything ends in 0.99 and click on update. And you can see all of our pricing is updated based on the, the rules that we applied in the last one. Now we can also come in here, this, th these last two steps are optional. Item quantities is if you wanna offer more than one shirt or more than one mug with this bundle. So say if I wanted them to be able to get one shirt and two mugs of the same design, you can come in here and put a two in here and that would give them two mugs uh, for the quantity on, on that particular item. Default is one and that's what we wanna do in this case. So we're gonna leave that as is. We also have a personalization order option here. So since both of these products are personalized, if I'm building multiple different bundles and I wanna make sure that every time, say the mug is the, the first option that pulls up in the personalization preview, we can set that here. Uh, if we don't care about that, we don't really need to mess with this option. So we'll leave that alone as is. So at this point, our bundle is completely built and we can go ahead and push this over to our platform. Uh, you can see here, you can push this to Shopify, Etsy, or WooCommerce. Now speaking to Amazon real quick, we are not able to push these products over to Amazon because of the way Amazon handles uh, variants for different categories and are very particular about that. So if you wanna be able to sell any kind of a bundle on Amazon, you can still do that and the orders will still import into your account correctly. All you'll need to do is create that product in your Amazon account and then you need to copy and paste the correct SKU to correlate with the combination of products that you want that customer to get. So in this case, we're go just going to test this out on a Shopify store. So we're gonna go ahead and push this product over to Shopify. 
And now that that product's in Shopify, we'll go over our Shopify store and take a look. So you can see here is the product in our Shopify store. And if we jump in and take a look at this product, you'll see that all the information that we had set on the bundle in our account is all pushed over. We've got our t-shirt shirt drop down, our mug drop down, our pricing came over, our SKU and everything is correct in here. If we come in to edit one of these, just to note real quick, you'll also see that the correct weight was sent over for this product. So this is the weight of the shirt and the mug combo. So if you're using our calculated rate shipping, uh, this will all be set up correctly so that the customer is charged the, the correct weight. Uh, if you are not using our calculated rate shipping, then when we invoice you, we will bill you for the flat rate for the t-shirt and the flat rate for the mug. So if you're doing bundles, it's probably advantageous to go ahead and set up your calculated rate shipping, which we have videos out on that. Check our YouTube channel for that information. Now, if we jump in to view this product, you'll see that we still have our start personalization feature here. So we're going to come down. Let's select our deep purple extra large shirt and we'll put that with a blue 11 ounce coffee mug and we'll click on start personalization. So you can see this opens our personalization preview, gives us the ability to enter our name here. And you can see down here, instead of having the add to cart option, we have a continue option because we're showing a personalization preview one of two. So that means there's another product to be personalized. And here on number two, asking for the name as well. And now we have the add to cart. And in our cart here, you can see that product is now added. That personalization is gonna pull through into your account and be applied to each product correctly. This process will also work on Etsy. So you can push these products over to Etsy. Uh, you can add your personalization fields and it'll pull that in. It just won't necessarily be able to separate those out into each individual product. So when an order is placed for this product, it'll import into your account and it'll separate out this bundle and show up as two line items within your account. So you'll see the t-shirt and the mug. Uh, if it's on Etsy or any other platform that it wasn't able to pick up the personalization for, it'll put that on hold and you'll be able to make sure that the personalization is correct before processing the product. So that's all you need to do to be able to add bundles to your e-com stores.